good afternoon students in the previous class we have discussed about two important concepts that is a half wave rectifier and also full wave rectifier both important for pu level and i have given what is a half wave rectifier and also circuit diagram how to convert given ac into dc and what is the efficiency of the half wave rectifier also i have given now uh, also i have given one more concept full wave rectifier so what is a full wave rectifier how many diodes are required how many diodes are required and also what is a function or working of the diode also given as a full wave rectifier how to convert full of the ac into dc also we have given in the previous class here i'll compare both ac and dc also but one more important parameter have remember in the case of the half wave rectifier what is the efficiency only 40.6 percent whereas in the full wave rectifier what is efficiency double 81.2 percent is there so in the case of the half wave rectifier efficiency is equal to 40.6 percent it is a dc but how much we are applying ac 100 percent it is equal nothing but converted dc but actually we applied 100 percent of ac so when we are applying one full cycle of the ac 100 percent of ac but how much dc is there in the output means only 40.6 percent that means in case of the half wave rectifier the output to dc is always less than the output component of the dc is always less than the ac so because the ac is approximately 60 percent but dc is only 40 percent whereas in the full wave rectifier we are applying a hundred percent of ac in a full wave rectifier but how much efficiency we are getting so that, uh, that is a 81.2 percent dc will be there 81.2 percent check here so here out of 100 percent of ac almost 81.2 percent is converted into dc that's why here dc is a more comparing to ac in case of the full wave rectifier the output of dc in the output uh, wave form dc component is always greater than ac component whereas in the half wave rectifier dc component is always less than ac component that also you have to remember carefully and similarly in case of the half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier i'll compare so just only for uh, neat or je purpose also some formula are there but no need to prepare any formula for pu level only for je or neat purpose uh, i'll give some formula instead of giving a separately while preparing also if you prepare both sides one side half wave rectifier one side full wave rectifier and easy to remember also for solving the problems now uh, put one side half wave rectifier and other side full wave rectifier right one side half wave rectifier and other side right full wave rectifier here on left side i am writing a half wave rectifier and other side right full wave rectifier full wave rectifier now left side right first point right here first point definition right half a rectifier means uh, uh, an electronic device an electronic device which converts an electronic device which converts half of the ac wave an electronic device which converts half of the ac wave into electronic device which converts a half of the ac wave into a dc wave or dc is called half wave rectifier 
or simply if you want to write means it converts half of the AC cycle into DC simple and right side an electronic device which converts an electronic device which converts full of the AC cycle or short form if you want to write it converts full of the AC cycle into DC you can write like that or an electronic device which converts electronic device which converts full of the AC wave into DC electronic circuit which converts full of the AC into DC is called full wave rectifier here I write full wave rectifier definition now second point here are how many diodes we are using in case of the half wave rectifier only one pn junction diode so here you can write here one pn junction diode is used or simply one pn diode is used in case of the half wave rectifier you are using only one diode that's why half of the ac cycle only converted into dc but here we are using a two pn diodes so two pn diodes or two pn junction diodes are used two pn junction diodes are used while preparing uh, we can write a short diagram also like this for comparison no need of the lengthy or bigger diagram only to understand just we have to draw a simple diagram like this it is ac source it is a primary and a secondary coils so nothing will be happened if you practice uh, one more time because it is important question so here we have to use one load resistance so you should draw like this it is a rl load resistance it is secondary coil primary coil and both will be coupled you should draw like this it is a p n it is a diode it is a ac source ac source AC source and here also input and output wave forms we can draw like this so the time or phase angle here also voltage or current will be taken I here also either voltage or current V or I we should draw like this So in case of the half wave rectifier, only during the positive half cycles, the diode will conduct the current. Here can write plus, or minus, plus, minus, again plus. So it is output DC. It is input AC. So I have written short form. So here I, P indicates input AC. It is equal output DC. Same way, right side also you can draw a simple rough diagram. Here we are using a two diodes D1 and a D2. And both the diodes are connected to each other and it is a center tapped will be connected to the ground like this center tapping it is a load resistance rl so diode d1 diode d2 primary coil secondary coil both are coupled so this will be ac source And here uh, wave form, input and output wave form, we can draw like this. Voltage or current. So here you can write time. It is a input AC. But output DC, we can draw here. 
here also voltage air current so but both the cycles will be converted into dc first half of the cycle first diode will conduct second half of the cycle second diode will conduct that's why total current is to, uh, total cycle will be converted into dc should take like this plus minus plus minus here also plus and minus here first diode will conduct second d2 d1 again d2 d1 and again d2 it should write like this it is output dc so this will be input ac the two diagrams if you practice the comparison uh, while uh, if it is given in a pus exam also we can write easily next year the output ripple frequency output ripple frequency ripple means having a fluctuated or up and down output ripple frequency is equal to equal to the frequency of equal to the frequency of applied emf so whatever the ac we are applying that frequency and also whatever output we got frequency both are exactly equal it is important theory question for example in case of the half wave rectifier uh, frequency of ac equal to 50 hertz is applied now what is the ripple frequency of the output of ac what is the ripple frequency of the output will be asked exactly same 50 hertz whatever the frequency we applied and in output also we got we will get the same frequency 50 hertz there will be no difference because only we are using a one diode half of the cycle only converted that's why both are exactly equal that's important but in case of the full wave rectifier both are not equal we are using a two diodes and a full of the ac cycle converted into dc that's why applied frequency if a 50 hertz but output frequency will be always double that is equal to 100 hertz that's why you should write here fourth one output frequency output ripple frequency output ripple frequency is twice that of the frequency of twice that of the frequency of applied emf emf means electromotive force nothing but ac only emf should write applied emf so here it is double but here both are equal should take both are equal one second So these two questions are too important uh, for PUC as well as complete exams also. Here if you apply 100 hertz, uh, 50 hertz, the output will be having 100 hertz, double. If you apply 50 hertz, the output will be also equal to 50 hertz, no difference. Now, fifth one, input AC, input, here input AC means what? whatever the current we are applying input alternating current input ac which is called i rms that is also called as iac or irms the input current is always called as i rms this i rms is always equal to highest value by 2 should write half of the peak value yesterday i mentioned already peak value means in case of the alternate current cycle wave whatever the highest current is there that the highest current can be called as peak value or maximum value if i naught is equal to maximum value in case of the half wave rectifier half of the cycle only converting that's why i rms is equal to i naught by 2 half of the peak value but here input ac input ac 
is IRMS is equal to I naught by root 2. Observe carefully here and there. Here full of the AC cycle converted. That's why it is equal to both the cycles you have to consider. That's why it is equal to I naught by root 2. But here only half of the cycle we have to consider. That's why it is equal to I naught by 2 should take. Input AC. And sixth one. Input is uh, alternating voltage. Input alternating voltage or potential difference. Voltage, potential difference. That is nothing but called VRMS. VRMS is equal to V naught by 2, you should write. VRMS is equal to V naught by 2. But here, input alternating voltage. Input alternating voltage or potential difference simply. VRMS is equal to V naught by root 2. Here V naught by 2, but there V naught by root 2 should write. Next, sixth point, input power we can write, let me write next, sixth one, seventh one, input power, input AC power or alternating power, so input AC power means I am writing a P I. Or P input is also right. P input is equal to nothing but according to uh, power formula yesterday given, I have given. So P is equal to I square R. One formula is there. That's why it is equal to I square means IRMS square. Into R means you should write RL plus RF. Generally, in case of the input, whenever we are supplying to the primary coil. So the primary coil is having uh, is converted into DC. So that will be converted uh, given to the load finally. But in case of the while consuming input, two type of ratios you have to take. One is load resistance and one is resistance of the diode in forward bias. So resistance of the diode in the forward bias RF. Resistance of load equal RL. But IRMS is equal to the whatever the current we are applying AC. That's what is equal to power formula. So general power is equal to formula work done by time. But work done W is equal to VQ potential difference into charge by time you should write. But charge by time is equal to what rate of flow of charge is called electric current. So it is equal to V into I you should write. But according to Ohm's law we know V is equal to IR. So if you write V plus IR if you write that equal to IR into I is equal to formula I square into R you should write. So whatever formula I have used here, this one based on. So input power is equal to I square means what? I RMS square into R means what? Total resistance. So total ratio is equal to resistance of the diode plus resistance of the load. Both you should add. That's all. Now right side also same formula. So seventh input AC power. Input alternating current power. Also same. P input is equal to IRMS square into RL plus RF. IRMS square into RL plus RF. Same only both sides. Here one more if you want. You may substitute IRMS is equal I naught by 2 also, your choice. Already I have given IRMS is equal I naught by 2. If you write here IRMS square plus I naught by 2 whole square, 
I naught square by 4 we can write. Another formula if you want. IRMS square is equal I naught by 2 whole square which is equal to what we should write? That is equal to I naught square by 4 into RL plus RF. You can write like this. Understood? Here IRMS place I am written. I have written this one. IRMS is equal I naught by 2. I naught by 2 whole square is equal to I naught square by 4 you should write. Here also same. P input is equal to, but IRMS means what here? I naught by root 2. That's what is equal I naught by root 2 whole square, which is equal to I naught square by 2. Only should write into RL plus RF. So observe here and there carefully. Here I naught square by 4 because I naught by 2 whole square. But here only I naught square by 2 because I naught by root 2 whole square. That is input power. Next, eighth one. So three values I have given, input values, input current, input voltage, input power. Same way, output voltage, output power, output current, three values. Now output DC, output direct current, which is called IDC or it is also called I mean value or write simply IDC is equal to I naught by pi, it is a formula for I DC. It is equal to 1 by pi times pi equal 3.14 value is there. That is equal to 1 by pi times the peak value or highest value. So I naught by pi. Whereas I RMS value I naught by 2. But I output value I naught by pi. Which is also equal to mean value nothing but. Same way here. Eighth one. Output to DC. Output to DC. Which is equal to I DC is equal to what you should write this value 2 i naught by pi observe carefully why 2 i naught by pi here full of the ac converted into dc but here only half of the ac converted into dc that's why i naught by pi but there it is 2 i naught by pi you should write next one ninth one output output voltage or potential difference VDC is equal what you should write V naught by pi. Output DC is equal V naught by pi you should write. Here I naught by pi but here V naught by pi. Same way output DC output DC VDC is equal to 2 V naught by pi. 2 times 2 V naught by pi. Same way 10th one output power output dc power but in the previous case input ac power but it is output dc power should write output dc power p naught or po p naught is equal to what you should write according to ohms law i square i square is equal here what you should take i dc square you should write whenever we are taking the input ac power we are using input current i rms square but here we are using output power that's why you should write I DC square into what you should write no need of writing RF already the given AC converted into DC the DC we are taking only through the load that's why only we should write RL no need to take RF RL only should take but here while giving the input value we have to consider both resistance of the diode and the resistance of the load but once if it is converted into DC, no need to consider the resistance of the diode. Only it is taken through the load. That's why we have to consider only RL should take. Same way. But IDC place what you can write? I naught by pi. So IDC place if you write I naught by pi whole square, it is equal to I naught square by I naught square divided by pi square into RL. If you square this means you will get this one. Same way right side. Output DC power. Output DC power. Same formula. PDC is equal to IDC square into RL. Which is equal to here what you should write? 2 I naught by pi whole square. That is equal to 4 I naught square divided by pi square into RL you should write.
Yesterday I have given one more formula efficiency of the rectifier. What is the formula for efficiency of the rectifier? The ratio of output to DC to the input to AC is called as efficiency of the rectifier. But before that in, uh, we have one more formula also we can write ripple factor RIPP LA ripple factor ripple factor R is equal to ratio of AC component to the DC component the ratio of ratio of AC component to the DC component should write ratio of AC component to DC com generally here AC component and DC component means you should take formula like this R is equal to general formula R is equal to square root of IRMS by it is equal to IDC whole square minus one you should write but generally IRMS is equal to what but your choice may or may not write no problem IRMS is equal to already we know I naught by 2 if you write here it is equal to I naught by 2 divided by it is equal to I naught by pi you should take whole square minus 1 under root I naught I naught get cancelled pi will be taken to numerator that equal to pi square pi square means 3 point or it is equal to pi square by 2 you may take to denominator is equal to 4 under root minus 1 but the pi square is equal to 3.14 whole square so you should take it is equal to 3.14 whole square is equal to approximately 9.86 so nearly 4 so nearly 4 means it is equal to you should take a, uh, so nearly 10 by 4 you should take 10 by 4 is equal to am I right 10 by 4 uh, 10 by 4 you should take this value so 10 by 4 is equal to approximately 2.25 nearly will get so 2.25 or 2.3 uh, uh, something will get so root 2.3 so we have to simplify root uh, this one and subtract this one and also if you simplify you will get nearly 1.21 so that's why here you should write ripple factor is equal to AC component ratio of AC component divided by DC component the ratio of the AC component to the DC component is called as ripple factor so write the formula R is equal to square root of IRMS by IDC whole square minus 1 IRMS by IDC whole square minus 1 you should write and if you substitute, if you simplify this value, you will get the value as a 1.21. So what is the use of this ripple factor means uh, whether the given half hour rectifier is a more efficient or not, we can understand by using this one. Same way, here you should write ripple factor R is equal to, R is equal to same formula, square root of IRMS by IDC, IRMS by IDC whole square minus 1 should write but this value will be only 0 0.48 approximately so there is a 0 0.48 so less be the ripple factor more be the effectiveness more be the ripple factor less be the effectiveness that you have to understand let us write this one that is the 10th point 11th point next 12th one more also there right 12th point form factor form factor so this is a form factor indicates directly f is equal to the ratio of the input AC to the output to DC. The ratio of not components, but here observe carefully. The ratio of the AC component to the DC component, how much a part is there? 
but here a complete input ac to the complete output ac that ratio called form factor but we know irms is equal to formula i not by 2 divided by i not by pi here i not i not cancelled that is equal to pi by 2 you should write but the pi value 3.14 3.14 by 2 is equal to 1.57. So that is called form factor. So this is a form factor and a ripple factor. Both are useful to understand whether the given rectifier is more effective or not. We can understand easily. Same way, right side also. 12th one, form factor. Same formula. F is equal to the ratio of the input AC to RMS value of AC to the DC value should write output to DC. So, but here IRMS is equal how much? I naught by root 2 you should write divided by 2 I naught by pi you should write. But here also I naught I naught get cancelled. Then take pi to the numerator that is equal to pi by 2 root 2. That is a pi by 2 root 2. Observe here and here carefully. Here only pi by 2. But here pi by 2 root 2. But the pi by 2 is equal to how much? 1.57. This is 1.57. Again you have to divide with root 2. Root means 1.414. Simplify and write later. 1.57 by 1.414. 1.57 by 1.414. You should write. 1.57 by 1.414 whatever the value you get right there Okay, the next one. Read the how much you got. Whatever the value you are getting here, just write here. 1.57 by 1.414. You should write. All right, next point. 13th one efficiency formula. Efficiency of the rectifier. So, yesterday I already have given efficiency formula the ratio of output to DC power to the input AC power. The ratio of output DC power to the ratio of the output DC power to the input AC power. Input AC power is called as the efficiency of the rectifier. If you want to if you want to get the value in percentage, we should multiply with 100. So into 100 also you write. That is efficiency of the rectifier. I'll write. Eta is equal to Efficiency eta is equal to P output by or P DC by P AC. Output DC power output DC power by input AC power into 100%. But output DC power already have given I square R formula already given. So that is equal you should write I DC square into RL divided by but input AC is equal to what? IRMS square into RL plus RF into 100%. What are already have given? Just I am writing here. But IDC is equal to what is given? I naught by 2 whole square. Which is equal to IDC is equal to I naught by 2 whole square into RL divided by IRMS is equal to formula what should I? Ah, sorry, I naught by pi, this one DC. I naught by pi whole square. Here I naught by 2 whole square into RL plus RF. Into 100%. But here I naught I naught get cancelled. If you cancel I naught value, then what you should write? This 2 can be taken to numerator. That is equal to 4 by, should write pi, pi square. 4 by pi square 
into remaining value. Then you should write here the value. Or I'll write this continuation here I'm writing. And the efficiency I'll write here, which is equal to after simplification, I'm writing 0 0.406 into RL by RL plus RF into 100 percent. So whatever here is there, you have to simplify. I naught I naught cancelled. This uh, 2 square 4 will be taken to numerator and a pi square will be taken to denominator. Then simplify it. We will get 0 0.406 into RL by RL plus RF into 100. Yesterday class I have given this formula. Same way here. Efficiency. That is the 13th point. Efficiency. Directly I am writing. It is equal to PDC by PAC into 100%. But PDC is equal to formula, what you should write? 2 I naught by pi. PDC is equal to, first you should write, IDC square into RL by IRMS square into RL plus RF into 100% should write. Same. Here, whatever I have written, same way I am writing that. But here, these values are only different while writing. But IDC is equal in this formula 2 I naught by pi whole square into RL divided by, but this will IRMS is equal to I naught by root 2 whole square into RL plus RF into 100 percent. On simplification, here I naught I naught cancelled. Take this uh, uh, root 2 to the numerator and a 2 to denominator. That's why it is equal to 0 0.812 into RL divided by RL plus RF into 100%. That is efficiency. You should remember this formula carefully. Here also, you should remember this formula. But at the beginning, I already mentioned so all these formulae, whatever I have given, not useful for PU level. So no need to prepare single formula also for PUC. So only what is a half hour rectifier, circuit diagram with the input and output waveforms and also explanation. Enough. Five marks question. Over. Whenever if you want to solve the numericals in either NEET or J level, then you have to prepare this extra formula. Otherwise not necessary. Correct. So those who are not interested to prepare uh, NEET or JE, no need to practice this formula also. If you are interested, uh, only practice the formula. In this above formula, I'll write 14th one. If RL, RF value, RL value both are equal, then what is the efficiency of the rectifier? So, if the given rectifier having a more resistance forward bias, that is equal to RF. RF, RL both are equal means in this formula, you should write RL plus also, RF plus also write RL. RL plus RL is equal to RL. One RL cancelled, then it is equal to 0 0.406. Actually, you should write like this. 0 0.406 into RL by that is equal to RL plus RL into 100 percent which is equal to if you multiply this value 40.6 into RL by 2 RL. So RL cancelled that is equal 20.3 percent. Whenever resistance of the diode is more then what will be happened? The efficiency will be less only 20.3 percent. But here only I will write one more formula. If RF is equal to 0 or you can write RF is less than less than RL <coughs> negligible if the given diode is ideal almost RF is equal neglected then what you should write eta is equal to 0 0.406 into RL by only let RL because this value is 0 neglected into 100% you should write.
here RL also get cancelled that equal a 40.6 percent answer if the given diode is ideal how much percentage we will get 40.6 percent same way right side you should write Fourteenth point: If R L is equal to R F, R F is equal to R L, right? Then here also same. Eta is equal to zero point eight one two into R L by it is equal to R L plus R L into hundred percent. So which is equal to eighty one point two percent into R L by two R L. One RL cancelled. That is equal to forty point six percent efficiency. If the resistance of the diode in the forward bias is more, then we will get only forty point six percent. If the given diode is ideal, so ideal means almost RF is equal to zero, or RF is less than less than RL. Then how to write the same formula? Eta is equal to zero point eight one two into RL divided by R L plus zero you should write into hundred percent. So neglect this R L, then eighty one point two percent will be converted. So if the given diode is ideal, how much percentage we are getting? Hundred percent AC if you supply, we'll get only uh, we'll get eighty one point two percent. So nearly fifteen points left side, fifteen point right side means uh, almost thirty points. Correct? They are very useful for uh, need or J level. But at PU level, no need of all these formulae. You have to practice all these formulae carefully. So now we may close this one. This part completed. Generally, in case of the half-wave rectifier or full-wave rectifier, so what type of DC or output we are getting? Pure DC na or a fluctuating DC na. So in case of the half-wave rectifier, when we are giving 100% of AC, so we are giving a AC like this. So AC we are giving like this. It is only called AC alternate current we are giving, but it is a converted into DC. But how we are getting the output DC value? The output DC we are getting like this. Check here. It is the output value, whereas it is the input value. Observe here and there carefully. In the case of the output DC, what will be happen? It is not a hundred percent DC, hundred percent pure DC. So in the case of the half wave rectifier, nearly forty point six percent is DC. Plus the remaining is equal approximately 59.4 percent is AC. 59.4 percent is AC and only 40.6 percent is DC. That's why in the case of the rectifiers or half wave rectifier or maybe full wave rectifier, the output is always fluctuating DC or pulsating DC. So the DC can be called as a pulsating, pulsating DC or It is also called as a fluctuating DC, pulsating DC or fluctuating DC. What does it mean? The output contains both AC ripples and also DC. But how will get a hundred percent AC to DC instead of forty point six percent? But I want to get a hundred percent. How it is possible? So generally by using two diodes also, how much we are getting? Eighty one point two percent only. In case of the full wave rectifier. 81.2 percent is DC. Plus, still how much is there? 18.8 percent is AC. 
by using uh, so fully rectifier is always very useful because if you are supplying 100% of the ac and almost you are getting a 81.2% dc but still it contains 18.2% ac ripples are there but these ac ripples also how to filter or uh, how much how we get 100% ac to dc by using a capacitor or inductor in the given circuit we can get that one so the type of circuits are called filter circuits a rectifier circuit is connected to whatever the rectifier output the output of the rectifier circuit is a just connected or given to the capacitor then what will be happen the uh, remaining uh, ac ripples will be filtered by the capacitor circuit and will get 100% dc so that's why the type of circuits are called filter circuits so, so by using a filter circuit by using a filter circuit so what is the use of the filter circuit means uh, a circuit which converts or which filters ac ripples a circuit which filters ac ripples a circuit which filters ac ripples of a rectified output a circuit which filters ac ripples of the rectified output rectified output from a rectifier from a rectifier is called is called a filter circuit is called a filter circuit a circuit which filters a circuit which filters ac ripples of the rectified output from a rectifier from a rectifier is known as filter circuit a filter circuit contains a filter circuit contains a filter circuit may contain capacitor or inductor a filter circuit may contain capacitor or inductor here for example it is a rectifier maybe full wave rectifier or half wave rectifier so here we are supplying input ac whenever we are supplying input ac here exactly to this circuit what we have to connect means one capacitor i am connecting like this so already capacitor chapter completed i am connecting a capacitor like this it is actually capacitor c so what is a capacitor a device which is used to store the electrical energy correct that is only called a capacitor and here exactly to the capacitor we are connecting a parallel to this one there will be one load resistance only simple modification we are giving so we are not doing anything only simple modification in the given rectifier circuit what we have to do extra one capacitor we have to connect so what is the uh, disadvantage or what is advantage by connecting capacitor when we are not connecting any capacitor if you supply 100% of the ac then what will be happen we are getting only 81.2% of dc in case of the full wave rectifier by connecting capacitor remaining 18.2% also will be filtered 18.8 and 100% dc we can get that's the, uh, the function of the capacitor here for example when we are supplying a ac like this whenever we are supplying a alternating current like this plus minus plus and again it is equal to minus so here in case of the dc what will be happen you have to check first whenever first half of the ac cycle is a supply to the rectifier and here it will be rectified and we got the value nothing but one half of the cycle we will get generally like this already graph given so during the first half of the cycle what happened means first the value of the current here increases whenever the current value increases the capacitor get charged and whenever the capacitor is charged automatically whenever the current becomes maximum the charging of the capacitor also maximum if for example no load resistance it reaches a peak value but because of the load what will be happen once if the capacitor is fully charged it begin to discharge through the load resistance the output will be taken so that's why here first the capacitor get charged like this then automatically something up to here we got the value 
but later what will be happened means before the value falls again next half cycle will come to the capacitor again the capacitor get charged and after charging again the value will be taken by the load resistance so before it is a falling downwards generally here again the graph will be like this initially of moving uh, like this what we will get generally means uh, the value will be almost uh, without falling down so it will be moving uh, like this nearly without falling down only the value will be exactly moving uh, along the straight path like this so what we can say this one almost uh, magnitude of the current constant direction of the current also constant so we can say it is a uh, full dc that's why by using a filter circuit uh, the ac ripples can be filtered so we can use either capacitor or inductor capacitor or inductor in some of the circuits uh, both may be used also so depending upon the circuit uh, we should take so that's important remember this carefully for one more question is uh, what is uh, a filter circuit why we have to connect a uh, uh, filter circuit or what is the use of the filter circuit will be asked generally so a filter circuit is a circuit which filters a filter circuit is a circuit which filters the ac ripples of the rectified output from a rectifier in a recti uh, filter circuit what are the components along with the rectifier circuit extra what we have to connect either capacitor or inductor or sometimes both also may be connected so that is about uh, rectifier filter circuit that concept or this concept next class we'll discuss uh, uh, gnr diode what is a gnr diode and uh, how to connect one more important three marks question so sometimes uh, five marks may be asked three marks question but important we'll discuss uh, tomorrow uh, class uh, what is a gnr diode who invented gnr diode what is a circuit diagram and also what is the function or working of the gnr diode but let us go for remaining applications okay thank you